afterwards during exhibition reception. Um, a plan for tonight. So we have our one of our student gallery assistants is taking the camera around and showing the individual works in the show um, and also some lighter shots. At seven o'clock, we'll have the jurors talk and presentation. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you'd like to see a specific piece, um, you can put that into the Zoom chat. Um, during like the or after the jurors talk, uh, there is time for a QA. and a you have any questions for the juror um, or for myself, which if you use myself, I'm right now, I'm the director start center. Um, then we can back in open pretty much after the jurors talk during the exhibition to be talk with students that we have here at the state, audiences that maybe have questions for the group, um, or if you have questions for Nicole. All right. Well, I'll let you guys look at all of the pieces that are in the show. Can you just spotlight it? Well, I suppose you can. Yeah. Cool. All right. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to I'm going to Oh, you got to the Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, how are you? I'm going to be doing both of us. Yes. Tomorrow. Yeah, your examination too. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> Drive all the way from Minneapolis. Oh, hello. Hey. Yes. Oh, my. 
So sometimes I verify. I spoke in Hawaii. You're not. You're probably not a student here. I know. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> That's why I always had a problem. Okay. I don't have to check the last box yet. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sheets. So you get to move your map to the stream. Oh, look, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be right on there. Thank you. Hello. Hi. 
for this time the guess for every time. Okay. Every time it makes us money. Oh, <laughs> with what? Oh, grants. So if you sign, if you go to any gallery, always sign the book, right? You know that. Yep. <laughs> sign away. It helps us track yeah. attendance and keep people up to date. So, that used to be the for the I'm sorry. Well, when we do that, um, we will order, we order, um, the people part and sign. And then if it is, I sign, yeah. Um, and then I remember when I crank over the phones. At the Nash Gallery at the University of Minnesota, they have it behind the desk. Mm -hmm. And they really like it because then it doesn't like, clash with anything. Yeah, and it's all like central. Well, sometimes we have. Um, Oh, you two, we do have two pieces that we do have back here normally. It's yeah. actually our donor and um, our donor. Yes. So for two hundred, you can get a lithograph that Walter Peel and Flat Hill Press, which the yeah. yeah yeah you know what that is yeah. Um, and so then uh, there's the black and white lithograph, yeah. and then if you donate five hundred dollars, you get the hand colored lithograph that Walter hand colors for you. So oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we were going to hang them back up, and then Greg said, Well, the next show that's going up is Walter's um, and Doug's the, uh, dog and pony show. Oh, yeah. So then he's like, We'll just skip that because we might hang something else back during that. Oh, so, sure. So we can put two holes in the walls. <laughs> and because it, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. And it's like, Okay, hey, find the old rules. And it's like, yeah, I know that. I know how that goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so much different at, a, at the museum. Mm -hmm. We were there um, just this last October. Oh yeah, and um, my kid was like absolutely like, ah, I can't stand like looking at things. I want to run around. I want to walk apart. So he sat like in front of the fountain. Oh yeah, watching the water flow for like an hour. <laughs> Do I know sign the groceries? No way. Yeah, we uh, are incredibly. Yeah, she's still maybe in her pocket. Like at the giant, it's my Nara. She said she's not taking her mind. As soon as it's like, that's you. But it is like French style going on and stuff. And so, you didn't see the cuts around. Oh, my gosh. That's right. Yeah. And the kids were being. Be honest, she probably did her own to do it. Well, it's time to go. Yeah. So there's the cafe in the just right around the occupational oh, hallway. There's a family room with like a nursing room and a quiet space for neurodiverse kids and coaches and such. Oh, that's okay. We were chit chatting. Yeah. 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 She was like, okay, well, calm down. You know, to say you can appreciate other people's sadness. Yeah. But she was like, this is what I said. Okay, draw your horizons, child. So, no, for no. So, Nicole, this is Ryan Standard, right? She's a professor at the, uh, the art department. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Um, oh, too. She was a co director of the Association of Student Oh, yeah. That's a great tradition. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, I'll tell you next to the next year in town, one of the amazing books at the museum and our photo study classroom down there, and then also. Um, yeah. 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 Well, I know the new director, and I know that always happens. Just, they're always, we all kind of work like all when when one boat rises, we all rise together. So, you all work collaboratively that way. It's just a classic. Yeah. 
Yep. It's actually we might in actually be doing the class trip to advanced to the MA2. Yeah. Yeah, let us know. We if, if the curators aren't available, we are definitely happy to have a tutorial doses guides program yeah. and oh, the and the so I will never so really big every, every time I stop eating. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what we're just chatting about. Yeah. You cold? <laughs> that's what kind of we okay. So I didn't know exactly the names. One of our current students actually they should have a list. Oh so my god. Oh yeah. They just I just think oh it looks really beautiful. That's so exciting. There's job enough against. Yeah, it was working at the outside one or the inside. I didn't, I didn't know how to a mixture of all this side. Yes, however, and I know that one is actually next week. So, over on the other side, oh, this is actually coming when next week, next week, or next Thursday, next Thursday. Yeah, so we have six, so we have a yeah. So we have one this week. We have one next week. Yeah. We have Walters the week after. Walters? So really? Yeah. So we have three in a row. He has like oh, new work 2023. Yeah. yeah, he has, um, it's the dog dog and pony show. He's working with um, Sleeker. So it's Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. So it's awesome. Oh, oh. Like the week of the sixth. No. Um, so, um, and our guest attention of the just the stuff. Are you going to stop whatever you've got? And then my remarks are pretty short. I, so. I haven't seen these. So oh, you haven't? Thank you. May I have to look around the food? Oh, yeah, that's too. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, that would be fantastic. I I, re, I did like I visually remember. I could not be in our concerns, but I, it's, it's yeah. I'm also surviving a top lash. Oh yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, well, no. I thought about like just sort of small, which is the place where the happiest friend mm -hmm. and the great Yeah, yes. Yeah. We play the sauce. And then I was saying, I can tell us something about the game. That's a good thing. Yeah. 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 
So normally it's not like a prompt to bring it, but yeah, 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 she should be able to like a prompt. Yeah, I think it's a good time to Are you going to be on the desk? Are you? Oh, I, I am the greater. It's also a managing the uh, live stream. Yeah, that way for her show and then the just And then we do. Oh, she's so angry. That's good. Yeah. Um, and then we can draw her. Okay. Is that kind of stuff on contentment? I already signed today, so I won't sign again. I sent it to my colleague Joel over here. He's doing the, the photo show. Us. We're just talking about it. And this one also. And she was like, oh my God, that's such a brilliant insult. Like she was just all over it. She was like, oh my God, that's so great. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, one, two, three. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but having it in the space to be all the patients. I don't know. You're not an art meter. Yeah, no, we aren't in someone's spot. I mean, I was talking to the people who are coming up, it sounds like I'm probably in someone's spot. This stuff is short, like even if we sold every single open new job position in the state of Minnesota, we'd be short sure about 200,000. Yeah. Yeah. Bodies just yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah definitely, we're getting there, but it's been years of short stuff. It's just it's so, yeah, it takes a bit. Yeah, yeah. She's <laughs> So sorry. And yeah, that's how we were this summer. We finally got in the office. It was a game changer, but yeah, now we're all playing catch up. It's, been, it's, it's a lot. It's an adjustment. Yeah, we got the two floors, but uh, in some sort of budget, I think we're almost in every gallery now, but. Our our gallery is full. There there will be on Monday. There'll be a fourth period of learning and stuff. But our team went to the fourth hours, so we're pretty lucky that way. I do the MAP show, which is twenty five minutes per day. That's a lot. I think like, it's it's on other people to do that show. I just shot it. Yeah. I don't know. We won't get all the It's a big show. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mars based yeah. it's from this north of Minneapolis, the Jim Denny. It's Jim Boy. We're doing a. Oh, yeah. It's really hard for me. But 
Greg was so patient, you know, while we were working on this. And I was like, I was going to expect Yeah. I didn't, I didn't. Oh, it could be a flip Thank you. Or thank you for lunch. But thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 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 And I felt like you know, I was like, gosh, I should go back home to many or two. But um, been, I don't think, well, I've never been in this city. Yeah. And it's just, yeah. So Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 If you have any questions during or after, if you have any questions, you can ask in the chat or unmute Yes, yes, Feel free to sign this book, and if you're in the art seminar, you'll sit that's right there. So in there. Thank 
Uh, 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 No, we're good. Okay, so if you want to, uh, you could take this one. Put it to me. Um, so I'd like to have everybody's attention. We're going to have uh, some remarks, and uh, the juror here I'd like to introduce some jurors. Um, so I'd like to thank everyone for coming to our latest paperworks, the 2023 International Paperworks. Um, this is the 52nd annual paperwork show. And it's kind of hard to believe, but it's really exciting every year and it keeps getting better. We have amazing artwork this year from all over the United States, Canada, and Germany. Um, I'd like to thank all of you for joining us. We also have a large number of the artists from the show who've joined us online. And we have to thank them for coming this well. morning. Um, our juror this year is Nicole Suka. She is the assistant curator of contemporary art at the Minneapolis Institute of Art. She also coordinates the Minnesota Artist Exhibition Project, yeah. which is, if you don't know what that is, you can look back at the end. It's, it's an amazing um, thing. It's been going for since 1970. 1975, almost celebrating our 50th anniversary. Not quite as old as the International yeah. Paperworks, but, <laughs> but it's really there. good. Um, I'd also like to thank all of you for attending, the students, faculty, um, guests, uh, and our amazing gallery assistants, our students and volunteers that helped us put this show together. So when all of the artists were sending work, it was our um, student gallery assistants that were unpacking, conditioning, helping to install the show. And without all of our students, this place would not be possible. 
Um, I'd also like to thank my wife, Jamie, for her support and assistance in getting everything together at the pay subject. She's my alarm fire. Um, and um, last but not least, I'd like to thank Minot State University, the beautiful facility that we have, and the opportunity that it gives us to display artwork um, in the International Safe Awards Exhibition and in other exhibitions. It's truly a wonderful space. Um, and I'd also like to thank the NRC Development Foundation for their support um, and the North Dakota Council on the Arts. Um, and without their continuing support, we also would not be able to have the programming we have at the Northwest Arts Center. Um, finally, I'll turn it over to Nicole and she can say a few words about maybe the, the exhibition and her process. So, uh, hi everyone, I'm Nicole. I did. I feel like I have to do a little, like, a little bifurcated, but I want to say thank you and thank you all for being so warm and welcoming and for inviting me to Minot, to North Dakota, to, to do this process and then into your gallery. When you're during a show from far away, you never know the space that you're going to come into. And it is, it is astounding that you guys have the space that you guys have. I went to a small liberal arts school, public liberal arts school in rural Minnesota, and we didn't have this type of space. And it was, but I worked in it, and that's how I got my start in arts. And it is such a vital, necessary resource. And it, it's, I am just thrilled and honored to be here tonight. So I also had the great privilege of during an astounding and incredibly hard jury selection. Um, works of art and so I want to give a profound gratitude to the artists everyone who applied it was an incredibly difficult decision and it was I was very thankful it was a blind jury jury process but I tried to select technical skill and just profoundly remarkable and distinctive works of art that felt cohesive together to tell a story about media and that media is paper or or 2d work and and how it can be both poetic, challenging, and literally come off the wall. <laughs> so with that, I, I'll hand it back. Thank you, Greg. Thanks, Jamie. And thank you to all the students and team who will make yourself. Okay. Well, um, with that, we do have um, the awards presentation for the uh, 2023 papers. Um, and we'd like to start, and what, what we'll do is we'll we'll stay in one place. And Sadie is going to greatly go to the different works and show us the pieces that we're, we're picking right now. So our first piece, um, and Nicole, you can maybe say a little bit yeah. about what you thought about this work and, and what drew you to these pieces um, as we go through them. So the first piece um, is uh, a piece entitled Fretwork. It's woodcut on closure paper, and it's Ariana Padovano, Providence, Rhode Island. So what really jumped out at me while I was going through the selection of, of works was how amazingly beautiful the gradient is and how just really beautifully done this woodcut is. It, it's incredibly pristine, and to get those layering of color, it's, it's not an easy feat. I was a failed printmaker. So... <laughs> So the little I know, I know enough to know how difficult this is, and I was really astounded by its simplicity, but also it really spoke to, I think, this moment in time where we all just feel kind of threadbare after the last three years. And so, um, yeah, I thought poetically, beautifully, technically, just astounding. Bravo. Yeah, our second marriage. On uh, this Brendan Burden, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. It's Black Modena Bronze Shield. It's an archival pigment print on paper. Photography. So I think we all have seen our fair share of nature photography, but what felt like really just astounding to me was how much of this is like. That, that Brendan approached the subject not unlike he would approach um, standard portrait photography. And, and I thought that was just really poetic. The colors were incredibly vibrant and just 
did the juxtaposition with the other work, but this work in particular was just astounding and just belies the, the difficulty of, of that it is, even in, with digital processes, to get a work like that to happen together. So it was an outstanding one and a one that just kind of I kept coming back to. So I want to ask just a question yeah. too. Like, yeah. like, so you're selecting these works from like the digital images. Yeah. You know, almost a thousand miles away. Yeah. So what, what, like seeing the work in person, like how does that, if you see something, you know, when you're journeying on the screen, yeah. but then seeing these and what struck me about them unpacking you know, these two images and especially the one was the scale too. Yeah. I mean, you never know when you jury online, you can read dimensions, but um, I have a colleague, we were talking about that new AI essay software that's coming around, right? Making all the media rounds right now. I think it's on everybody's mind, whether you're a student, faculty member, or in the writing profession, like myself, you have to see art in person. There is nothing that can compare because we all can read measurements, but to see it against your own body is something entirely different. And art resonates with your soul differently when you see it in person. And also you have to take into account that your white monitor, your monitor might not be the same white balance as the actual work of art. And then if you have a blue screen walker on there too, it, that, that just messes with color. But yeah, I, I took a leap of faith. And I, I think that you do that anytime you do a jury show, but. Seeing them in person, I was just like bowled over. I mean, they really do balance a really beautiful line between commercial nature and the unexpected juxtaposition of using almost a fashion portraiture vernacular for, for just a really beautiful technical shot. Okay. So we'll go, uh, we'll go to our next merit award. Um, this work uh, is in the inner gallery. So we're gonna walk through the doors and, and look at the next piece. This is Susan Hegesta in Vermilion, South Dakota. The title of the work is Embellishments, Verdant, Synthetic. Um, the medium for this is silk flowers, acrylic, beading, stitching, doilies on cast paper with polyfill and cotton fabric. I wasn't expecting this when you, you said paperworks. I should, and I didn't. And I, you know, again, you never know what you're gonna see in person, but I was still, I just really love it. it it walks the line. Silk flowers can become very kitsch and then go to camp and then become, you know, not great <laughs> very quickly. And and I think what Susan did here just really beautifully was put aesthetic and it reminds like and then the like Tom an art historian. It reminds me of almost there's something about it that reminds me of the 19th century. Um, remembrance portraiture that you used to see where people would use human hair actually and braid it into these beautiful patterns and braids. And they were often after a child who passed away, a loved one passed away because they couldn't afford photography. And so there's something about remembrance in this embellishment work that is really quite poetic and speaks to. So um, our, our fourth and uh, penultimate merit award is for another print and it's back into our art gallery. Um, this piece is entitled The Pandemic of Opens, The Shock Survivalists. It's by artist Keith Dull, Ashland, Ohio. These are really yeah. yeah, yeah, there's something about this work in particular that I mean that spoke to my inner punk wannabe kid, right? And this esoteric chaotic survivalist game we all went into in 2020. I mean, I, I had a, a, a three month old that I didn't know what future I had brought him into when the pandemic hit. And so, you know, there's a part of me that was just one a little over pandemic imagery by this point, but also really reflective when I was going through these and the amount of detail, I mean, you can keep coming back to this, but here we're looking at the vials in this, in this image and then you, 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 you pull in a little closer and you see the needles and you see the spirals and you know yes I can speak to the vaccine but it can also speak to this heightened the the problems with being locked away as the keys in the trees kind of mimic 
um, where, where addiction really took hold across the country in a really heightened state as well. And I think there's just a lot of levels that I don't even know if he thought about well, making this work, but it, it certainly resonated in a lot of ways where, yeah, I think I think 2020 really did a number on us. And then also I lived in Minneapolis. I lived right across the street from the police precinct um, after the murder of George Floyd and there were protests nightly. And yeah, if you, I mean, you were wearing chest masks just to get around parts of the town because there was still, still you know, these bullets and gas tear gas in the air. And so this, this really resonated on a lot of levels, just, you know, from the sentimental to the remembrance to just perfectly kind of capturing this also almost toxic environments that we live in in the media. And so our, our final merit award um, is in that same location in the gallery. Um, and this is a work by Jacob Crook, Starkville, Mississippi. Uh, it's entitled Spill, and the medium is Nezit. Uh, yeah, Jacob Crook, I had heard the name, but I didn't know his name when I was touring this or selecting these awards, but just a master Nezit tenter, like just knows the craft inside and out and knows what's possible and then takes it to the soul of their level by playing with light and dark. And for those who have done Nezit, you know how easy it is to get the paper hazy but it's not easy to then get these sharp detailed cross contrasts and keep it clean and pristine and running a line with that. And so it's just a profound, profound mastery of skill. And then also just this like cross hatching with the shadow play is just mind blowing. And I, I was just looking on my laptop, which is like just a 13 inch laptop. So I, I kept trying to like, I can go like this, like, cause I have a toddler, right? So everything is tactile <laughs> at my house. For those who can't see, I'm literally like trying to make like a mark of the laptop screen. I don't know why. But um, yeah, you just want to get into the work in a really, really deep way. It's like it's like one that you feel like you can go stand up that street like well, yeah. And maybe hours just how rich the light is. I mean, we've all been coming home after dark, especially if you live this far north. Where it's dark, what two o'clock, three o'clock <laughs> this time of year? It's, I heard, I keep hearing whispers that we're three weeks away from sun being up after seven. But it, it, but we all know that street. We all know that street lamp, and you have that twinge of both safety, remembrance, familiarity, and then just the the the, the scaredness or the, the the tension of the night. It's really quite beautiful. And uh, our final award tonight uh, goes to our best of show award. Um, and this piece, um, it's another mesotint um, with some applied earth pigments. Uh, the artist is Linda Whitney, Valley City, North Dakota. The title is A Top Butterfly Dancer. It's a big, bright star butterfly. So I, again, didn't know the artists when I was selecting the work. I just knew what I saw on the page. And what I saw on the page was the, the whirlwind that comes from dance. The whirlwind that comes from when you go to powwow and you have that swirl and that color and that vibrancy. And again, just a, a mastery of media to get those, that clean white presence and to have that flash of natural pigment in there, it really, it really stood head and shoulders above an incredibly tough competition. And um, you know, in a way, it also speaks to this really just layering of technical skill, but also to get that rich dark black and make it feel like this, like the dancer is spinning in front of you. And, and in full regalia, it was really quite wonderful. Um, and also very quickly can, again, find this balance of respect versus um, tokenism. And here it just feels alive in a really beautiful way. So that, that, that's how I came to the conclusion. Thank you very much. Okay. If there are any questions um, for Nicole, um, either from online or in person here, um, I'm certain she'd love to speak to individual uh, 
uh, in the gallery. Um, or if we have anybody that has any questions and wants to unmute or put something in chat, um, that would be that would be okay as well. But thank you for well, I'd like to I'd like to once again give a poll a, a, a big hand. Thank you for coming all the way. Sometimes people need one-on-one -on -one to answer. So yeah, I'm around. So I'm, I'm, I'm not that intimidating. <laughs> if there is anybody who wants to unmute up in front of here, yeah. um, let us know or if you want to talk to each other at this point. Or if you just like to look at more of the XP. That works. Yeah. I'd like to thank you all again for attending I know we're not able to see both your two talks. Thank you so much for spending your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any? Is there anybody that would be questions in chat? Yeah. So, so thank you, Dana. Your work is absolutely beautiful. Congratulations. <laughs> We can bring her in chat. Oh, no, that's me. Thank you. It was, it was, I have to say, uh, and I'll say this in one of my favorite things. It's not, I just really enjoy singing the show and some new fans and enjoy doing that. But every time I get to come back with like this, or this it's like a yeah. I get these packages and then we, go, and we get to unwrap them, open them up, and just be kind of founded by the great pieces that we receive. I think that's the cool start. Yeah, I get that. It's like Christmas every time, right? It's really, it's really. Yeah. So it was, it was like, um, so these choice like it was the hard choice to make. So. It was so if you didn't see, there were it was 200, close to 280. Yeah, so how did you want to see yeah. it? It was, like these pubs? Yeah, yeah it was good. Yeah. I gotta go. Yep. Yep, I'll let you go. And I just want to say, I'm very fond of you guys. Thank you all. Again, thank you so much for being on the chat. Thanks to everybody. Have a nice Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, which one you will get this. And then for two, the next time, if you talk about it, you can have it. It's worth 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 it. Yeah, I just came back. I had a step to play. Also, yeah. Oh my God, this is so much And then I have another friend that I usually wear that one one friend is wearing this called Agnes Fanny's. Which I think I think you Hey, Em, are you in seminar? Exactly. No, I'm going to talk about my own career because I come from a small rural town and sort of how I developed from the arts side. And then uh, talk a little bit about what I do at Mia and the opportunities offered in Minnesota for artists. And then why or why not that might work for people. And then um, really just leave it open for question and answer. So I'm pretty flexible when I get that kind of lecture. So I'm going to ask what you guys want to hear to start. So yeah, I think so much. Yeah, please do. And yeah, please do. Yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, I love questions. I love, I love being interactive. So I'm trying to set the bar up. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear what you guys are up to and what I can offer. I'm trying to figure it all out. Oh, how uh, you're someone of a girl in the network. And then, yeah, more professional in this type of situation. Thank you. And you'll come to find for all winning it. 
we do, and it's and it's not it's not even a feeling of like. I mean, you just gotta you just gotta grab it and go for it. Yeah, yeah. And I'll talk about that tomorrow too. There's, 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 the best thing you can do is ask yourself what you want to do, like what your day wants to look like, and structure your life around that because there's there's in the state of Minnesota alone there's over sixty museums and that can be anything and everything and back the biggest collector of minnesota art is into an art museum that the history is on so a lot of opportunity yeah oh yeah my friend has to Minneapolis one year and um, when Logan, my oldest, like this tall, and it was so much fun. We went to the Walker, Leah, where else did we go? We went to Bill's show. Yeah. We yeah. Had a and, yeah Bill is our fellow here. Fantastic. Yeah, that's what I was just hearing. Yeah, I think he's in the room. Oh, Mike. I think so. I think Mike is here. Yeah. Oh, okay. We oh. track him down. We'll get him. We'll get his hand in there. You're good with that one. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for coming. It was good to see you. Jamie. Jamie. I've heard it a million times. Oh, I just didn't, never had a face before. That's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good time. I have, I have a horse to come to me. It's nice to meet you. We're in Minneapolis. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, yeah. 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 I'm going to tell you, yeah. you need to get it for free. It should be done. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to interrupt it. Yeah. yeah. Um, what I was going to say is the last time we were able to take our first <laughs> family and yeah. yeah. then it's like revolve around. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, that's been not in February when my seven year old was a baby, so swinging us on the first thing. And uh, we went to the museum. We went to the We went to the walker. We went to the walker. And then we went to the museum. I was going to get me a book. well, and it's it's mostly to get the experience. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. more to get in. Fresh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a lot it's a lot different than than what you see. But it's fun. Yeah, I would have yeah, this is amazing. And the the variety that's offered of students here is just really really, really amazing. And I think a lot of people just tend to like like Midwest, right? Like we have our own hot box like middle child complex. Yeah. But but yeah, it's, it shouldn't be this way. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's a shame you could be here when that call is actually functioning because Brian through all the work and the marketing yes definitely and i'll bring i'll try and twist my colleagues are my colleague dennis john is our friend our long time you don't want to there's so many and so um, I, I would. And I was just apologizing to do. I should apologize to you too. I was on deadline for cat. I still am on deadline for this cat, which indemnity is safe. No, I am just. Well, I I said I didn't hear anything question. So I mean, if I hear something, then yeah, yeah. But uh, cabinets are especially when you have. Yes. Yes. So, yeah so you'll appreciate this so our new problem part of the book is uh, the gallery sent over high res images but they're not high res they're like they're like high res they're like high res they're like they're like high res yes well they should be tiny but the problem is is that we yep, have so we're getting published in the Yale university and they want to know like a nine inch by 12 so soft cover book yeah so for the size like it, it, i'm sure we'll work it out and we'll just have to cut back on the images we're using and swap things out it'll that's what i get to go to the hotel room tonight is like those layout again and our layout our designer is in portland oregon and my editor is in north carolina because dia Mia does all of our publications at home. So I don't know if it's much longer, but it's my bias because I want to like me fighting because they and I still don't have any design to computer. I'm like fighting with like Adobe Creative Suite PDF editor. Like yeah, oh, I yeah. yeah, yeah, trying to drop in images so that it's clear what we're doing here and there, and then it's like working with trying to like, like, yeah, yeah, all that fun stuff. Am I giving you? Am I giving you? Sorry, not to give you a PTSD flashback of the straps right now. Well, I think it was Yes. Here, also looks but I also other characters. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, even even if you don't change, 
the show is oh. in sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's a difference between magazines I lost and a book. And a oh, I don't even know where I got it. That's so when you're, when you're so bad. In a oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's real. And then and then we're printing yeah, they ask questions. Book manager who's also out of questions yeah. is consistent that we could print to China too. So well, I mean, I don't know what I mean if they ask questions. Oh, to say you can try and it is that's important. Oh yeah. But you know what I mean. I've done I've done the research, it's like so much more cost effective. And it's ridiculous that that's the case because how can it be? Less when you're shipping it across the biggest ocean on the planet. I don't get that sometimes. Right? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, like, the 